Hi guys, welcome to this session in SharePoint Libraries. In this module, I want to show you how you can filter and group and create views in SharePoint Libraries. So on the screen, I've got a library that's already been modified slightly with these extra two columns. But what I want to do is, first of all, look at grouping. So on the status column, if I click the arrow to the right of it, I can select group by status, for example, and then it will pick the two different status options that I have, which is checked and not checked. And then it will group by those, as you can see there. Group. Now, if I go back into that, you can take that off and then it's back to square one. And you can do that for each of these columns if there's if there's different options. So resolve date, for example, I would be able to group by a different date if there were multiple dates. So I'm not going to do that one. Now, if I do that again, so if I just go to group by status, and then that'll show me that. What you've got at the the top here where it says training, because that's where I'm at, that is a view that I've created. Now, if I knock that view off and click on, knock it off by clicking on all documents, and then do the filter again. So filter, not the filter, should I say group by status. So now what I can do up here is go down there and say, create a new view, call this one Steve. And you've got options of doing list, which is what it's on at the moment, list, calendar or gallery. So if I go for calendar, that's going to have to have a date field in it so it's got review date so you've got different options there so I'll go for modified and then review date and I'll do it for the month rather than a week just so you can see this particular view and then create that and then it'll show you this as a calendar and anything that sits in there uh, there's one document there that's got that information filled in and you can see it there so that's creating a view I'll close that off come back into a different one. So I'll create a, another view. So I'll go back. So I'll click off Steve to all documents and then I'll create another view. So create a new view. And then this time I'll go for the gallery option. I'll call this one Sachs and then create. You can see that how that one works. So it just sits it like that. Now these to be fair, some of these are already as the defaults. So you've got list, compact list, and then tiles, which is what this is. But I've got this option there. Down the bottom, you can format the current view or add extra columns to it, extra fields. If I click on format, um, you've got this feature here, edit, edit the card. And then you can tick on information or tick off information by just clicking on these little ticky boxes. So I'll leave everything on. I don't want to take anything off, but you can if you want, and then you save the changes like that. And then close this off, and then that's changed. So I'll go back up here and put it back onto all documents, and I'll put it back to compact list, because we haven't had to look at that one. Compact list just moves it up a little bit, makes it a bit tighter. Now you have filter options from the top here where you can filter items coming down. So if I go checked, I'll tick that and then just click away from this. It's just going to show me everything that was checked like so. And I can take that one off. Now I can also do that one directly on there. There is a filter option in here and it comes up with the same information. So I'll click OK this time and apply. And it shows me that then you've got an option to clear that filter i'll clear that filter clear this bit knock that off so what you can also do is create what's called rules if i go to these ellipses at the top there you've got automate and then reminder or rules so create a new rule and then you've got some preset options i'm going to go for this one a file or metadata is modified I'll click on that one so choose a column so I'm going to go for review date 
and changes choose an option um, to anything email me so basically if anybody does anything with the review date that I don't know about I want an email to tell me that and I've already got one there close close that down so you're creating a rule there you've got in there on the ellipses you can download the files add a shortcut to OneDrive now I've already done it for this folder so I'll just go down into my OneDrive on my computer and there is the shortcut and there is the actual files that is in that so it's quite a useful thing if you've got people that can't get away from the file explorer explorer way of doing things you can keep them happy by doing that so that's back to there so that's all I want to talk about in this little session how you can filter create groups and save views and how you can also create rules if anybody changes anything on this library so hopefully that was a views. thank you for your time I'll catch you on the next one